the proposed regulation on developers of DeFi products. You know, if it's, let's say it's a, I mean, if it's a company like Uniswap that has tons of venture capital behind it, I get it. That's, you know, you have somewhere to go, but what if it's, you know, three smart people who write some software and unleash it in the world? Uh, I'm not in favor of software regulation. Early in my career, I, I was dealing with the tail end of what we call the crypto wars. So basically back in the nineties, in at least in the United States, encryption software was regulated under an arms control ITAR regulation. And that meant you could not export strong cryptography outside of the United States unless it was certain specific types of companies. And that just drove all the innovation outside of the country. And we actually had to import our crypto from Australia. And eventually that stuff all got overturned. But it, you know, again, unintended consequences. So I'm not in favor of regulating software. I mean, back in those days, people were wearing t-shirts with the RSA algorithm printed on and walking, you know, going in, traveling internationally just to say, this is so stupid. You know, I can, in 400 characters, and I can implement <laughs> a very simple cryptography algorithm that like I'm effectively violating arms control. And so I think we have to be very careful in this DeFi world around that, you know, where those regulators start to think about that. We don't want to get in that situation.